Hey, what's good, people? What's going on? So, I went back and watched that video I did, the last video I did, and um, I want to set something straight, kind of like, kind of just, just clarify some stuff. You know, I, I thought about the things I said, and, you know, some of it's not exactly accurate, or I came off a certain way that I didn't really want to. I don't regret saying what I said because I was just being real and I had to let some things out of my system, get some things out of my system um, because what I am going through is truly frustrating. It's not easy at all. Um, I'm wearing makeup again, yes. I only found a lipstick that actually looks good on me. Um, the other shit I got was like way too bright, way too red, way too like a dark red. That's better for someone who's like black or something because I'm too white for that shit. It's called Barry. This one, this one's a lot better. The other one's like, I don't know, from the under depths of fucking hell or something like that. I like it, but it's better like going out to a fucking club or a bar or something. I'm gonna bring some someone home special for you. Freaking, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I looked back on that video and I said some stuff and um, you know, I got a rude comment on that video. I've, I've been getting more rude comments. It's just because my presence is growing very slowly but it's growing online and um i didn't want to come off like like i i just regret what i did i don't want to come off like i don't appreciate what i look like now because i really do and i don't i don't want to come off also like like i'm just militant right i have been asshole to my parents about pronouns because I said I didn't want to get stuck in a paradigm and the paradigm that I've been stuck in for years and the truth is I shouldn't give a fuck about no paradigm and the only way out of the paradigm is to just not give a fuck um I really should not care I mean it's not easy get don't don't get me wrong it's not easy to be in the situation I'm in and because I'm wanting to change and be a different person than what I who I was like two even a year ago like it's um it's hard, it's difficult, and it's scary. I think the biggest reason that I was upset about being misgendered and made that video and it was like all irritated and kind of pissed off was, and I have a right to be, you know, I have a right to be irritated about it at least. Um, you know, the biggest thing is I'm not, I'm not standing up for what I need to do. I'm not, I'm not doing what I need to do. I'm not saying anything to people. I'm not standing up for what I need. You know, I'm not doing what I need to do, and so, therefore, it's starting to boil over. It's starting to become uh, something of a frustration. It's, um, and that's just the bottom line. It's just because I'm not, I'm not communicating to people how I want to be addressed. And I want to be addressed as what I am, um, and the only way I can do that is to speak up. And so I think if I do that, the frustration will at least dwindle down to little to nothing, at least. I'm sure it will. You know, but I do need to go back to just not caring. If they don't if they don't call me female pronouns, then so fucking be it. I know what I am at the end of the day, and that's all that matters. You know. And you know, I, I just even still even if I get gendered male, it shouldn't matter, you know. I feel like my purpose on this planet was to be an androgynous female person. And because this has happened. Now I just am what I am, you know? Voice is deep. I got masculine features in my face and in my body, and I'm kind of hairy. And, yeah, I love it. <laughs> and, of course, I always got to add a little bit of grossness to this. A little bit of a gag, you know? That's just, that's just my way. That's my little showing going on. But, um, yeah, so I, I love my hair. I love my masculine features. I love my feminine features. I love, like, everything. I was meant to be androgynous. I know I was. And I know I'm presenting feminine, and that's cool. I present masculine, and that's cool also. You know, the voice is cool. Everything's cool. I didn't want to come off like I wasn't I wasn't happy about that, like I didn't like my voice. I didn't want to come off like I was asking for advice when I really wasn't either because I don't want people to feel like they have to waste their time trying to give me advice, and I don't really want advice that I wasn't necessarily trying to solicit in the first place. I wasn't really trying to get advice. I, I appreciate it. I really do. Don't get me wrong, but I wasn't really trying to, you know, 
reach out about those things and the reason it came off like that, you know, I'm fine with my voice. And if people are going to misgender me because of that, well, so fucking be it. I don't even want to call it misgendering. I just want to call it um, a misunderstanding. Or it just, the way of some people's perceptions, let's just say that. I don't want to call it misgendering. <sighs> Who gives a fuck? I hate that word. I hate the trans, the ideological language. I hate all the terms. I hate it all. It's just, I've heard it so many times. It's, it's, it's been gotten so old. It was old even when I was trans, you know, I'm just, I'm just sick of it. It's toxic. It's wrong. No one's assigned to sex. No one's misgendering you. No one, we don't need pronouns. You know, we don't need these things. Like they're not important. You know, I mean, they could be considered important to people, but it's it's just really at the end of the day, it's just toxic. You know, I hate I hate the language. It's just like, can't anybody just learn to love themselves the way they are, or learn to at least accept themselves the way they are? Wouldn't that be better than fucking, you know, trying to make the world bend over backwards to your bullshit? And that goes for a lot of things, not just transgenderism, but. You know, that goes for, like, men, women, you know, feminism, masculinism, any kind of ism, right? Like, who gives a shit? I'm just so sick of all of it. But anyway, I want to unplug from the the freaking realm of, of the freaking virtual fucking fantasy fuck-up land. Like, then things start to make more sense. That's all I can say. I'm gonna try to only be on my phone for like an hour a day. It's like, I'm looking on my phone, I was already on it for, I've already been on it for like two and a half hours today, and it's like, oh my god, I've barely been on my phone today. I barely had any time to use my phone because I've been at work, and then I'm like, like I'm on my phone that much? That's just so it's fucking ridiculous. Anyway, so I digress. You know, I really, really do. I love my voice, I love the masculinity and femininity. You know, and I wasn't trying to act like I wasn't, like, grateful for my process, because I am. The process has been very important to me. It's been a lot to me. Um, and, you know, everything's going to be fine. You know, it doesn't matter how people see me. You know, I'm going to go back to my roots. I've got to go back to my roots. i got to go back to not wanting to care about pronouns and just being who I am and, you know, shit like that. And that's, that's just the bottom line. That's the answer. That's the way, you know. Kind of more of a Buddhist Zen approach to it, and that's really the approach I think that's most appropriate when it comes to something like this. It really is, and of course you're never going to be perfect. I'm going to have my frustrations. I'm going to have my bad moments. I'm going to have my shitty moments. You know, there's going to be moments where it's going to piss me off, or it's going to irritate me, or it's it's just not going to feel good, and that's just going to have to be how it is. You know, I got to allow myself to feel that way, but I don't want to just go off the rails about it. You know what I mean? And you know, I don't. I mean, really, who cares about what strangers think, you know? I mean, there's some people you want to tell. Like, if you have a romantic interest, they have to, obviously, they should know I'm a dude, right? Or friends, or family. Well, family we're, are going to know. What do you mean? Blah. That's not what I meant. I mean, if you're detransitioning, it's good for your family to know. But, you know, there's certain people that should know, and then there's certain people that don't need to know. And, the, you know, customers at work don't need to know what, you know, whatever. Um, so my boss got me a pronoun pin, and, um, I'm just gonna use it because she went through the trouble of actually getting me one. So I'm just gonna try and see what goes on, but I don't, I, I doubt people are really gonna see it, except for maybe people around my age or a little bit younger, but people like kids or older people or just people who don't have a very large attention span, they're not gonna see it. Like, I don't really see what the, the use of it really is, but I'm just gonna try it just because someone went went and did it, got me one, so let's see how it goes. I'll probably wear it for like a month or month or two, see see what kind of difference it makes. I really don't think it will, but whatever. That's just how I feel about it. And I really don't like the concept of pronouns. Like I said, it's not going to hurt me or kill me if someone doesn't gender me or sex me correctly, you know, or doesn't 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 perceive me, doesn't see me, you know. Well they still see me. They just don't know what the fuck I am, but they see me. So that's all that matters, really, you know. Everything else will just come, the pieces are going to lay where they are, they're at, you know, and the things are going to be as, it, as they may, you know, that's just how it goes. And, you know, I'm very grateful, and I'm very thankful, and, you know, I have so much love in my heart, 
for myself. I mean, for my my appearance and what it, what I look like, and you know, being able to get in touch with my more feminine side and trying feminine things, and you know, feeling comfortable doing that. You know, and then I still have my masculinity, and that's gonna stay the way it is. You know, I didn't. I'm just. I'm going to have bad moments. I'm going to have my moments where it's just like, everything's going to be like, fuck it, you know? But everything's good. Things are going good. Things are going good in my life. And, you know, there's things I can improve on and there's things I'm going to really try to improve on. Um, Self-improvement's really something that I got to get my mind on, you know? There's some things I really could just ditch, you know? There's things I could stop thinking about, you know? It's time to expand my awareness and expand my 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 ways of doing things it's time to be a little more efficient with the way i do things you know this is a lot of things i think about and you know especially with doing these videos there's a lot of improvements i can make and you know i really want to expand my presence on youtube and help the people that really matter most to most to me right now and that's young kids and adolescents and vulnerable young adults transitioning you know i want to help those people so they can make better decisions and not not end up quite the way I did. You know, I'm grateful for what I went through, but that doesn't mean I think anybody else should go through what I went through. You know, it's not good. It's not a good thing. It's not a good way to learn your lesson. You know, there's there's other ways you can learn your lessons without, you know, putting your health and your your psychological well-being at a big risk. You know, it really is. But anyway, so I just wanted to make this video. You know, just kind of talking about like what I was talking about and it's like yeah you know it, it it's hard but I'm gonna go back to what my mindset was a year or two ago and I'm just simply gonna correct people as long as I'm being honest and I'm I'm being open and I'm just saying fuck it and just telling people the truth then I won't get to that boiling point again that's the thing I gotta make sure I don't get to that boiling point you know it it's, it's whatever you know it's it's not a big deal um, to tell, just simply tell people. I mean, there's somebody, there's a customer, a particular customer I like, and I told him, and he was really nice, sweet about it. He was a sweet guy about it. Everybody else could be the same way. And most of the time they are. There's one guy that was kind of awkward, like, ooh, ooh, okay. Like, it was, it was just weird, and I hate awkwardness. Like, I'm a very sensitive person. You know, I really pick up really strongly on other people's emotions. So that's part of why it's so hard to just be honest. But, you know, the honesty is what's going to really cure this. It's like, if I want it, I got to go out and get it. Nobody else can do it for me. Or, you know, like, and, you know, there's another thing. It's like, or like when in a social situation, when you're like, oh, I wish somebody would come up and do, say something to me. Or I wish this person would do this or that or make me feel better about myself. It's like, do it yourself, for fuck's sake. That's the answer. That's the only way you're going to get to where you need to be or get what you know you want or need. Is if you're just go out, get off your ass and just do it yourself. Get out of the stupor you're in. Get out of this inertia you're in. You know what I mean? And that's what this is. It's just an inertia. I've been stuck in this inertia since the time I started detransitioning. And so I just haven't said anything to people about it because I didn't care. But I'm going to, I'm still going to say something. I still want something from people who are not gendering me correctly not, or not perceiving me, perceiving me. But if they don't, so what? It's just water over my back. That's the way it's got to be. That's the way I've got to survive. You know, I got to survive. I can't let myself become emotionally, you know, stuck on this. I'm not emotionally attached to this. It's whatever. It's, it's like in Buddhism when they talk about detachment. This is a good 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 example. I don't think you always need to be attached. I don't think it's a black and white thing or detached or it doesn't have to be black and white that way. But, you know, it does work in certain instances very well. And I think it could work very well in this. Anyway, so... <sighs> I need to ask a question of you guys because I had a, uh, a rude person tell me that my whole entire face and body looks like a man. What are your thoughts on that? Because I think I look good enough. Um, I don't really care. And it's like, why do I have to care what some fucking stranger on the internet says? That's the only time someone's ever said that to me during my more feminine appearance-wise. Obviously, a few, just a few months ago, I looked like a dude still. But I 
don't think I really do that much. I mean, look at my forehead, my brow, this, my frown line, you know, my jaw kind of, my chin. Those are kind of masculine features, but I don't think overall I look completely like a dude. I don't think I look like a dude. Um, the only thing that really, really, you know, because I have to shave so there's bumps on my neck and it's a little bit red. And, you know, I also have, um, you know, a deep voice and kind of broad shoulders. So I think people could think I'm a dude transitioning into a chick, but I'm not. Or to them, uh, you know, can't, men can't become women, but whatever. Um, so, but like someone straight up said, like, I still look like a dude, even like the way I look now. I look like a dude, really? I, I don't I don't get that, but whatever, you know, like... Like, that shouldn't, I shouldn't let that bother me so much. Because it doesn't matter if I look like a dude. I am an androgynous female person. I'm an androgynous woman. And I'm proud of that. I love, I don't know, proud. But I love it. It's a humbling experience. It's a beautiful experience. It's an important experience for other people like me. That people can know that I move around the world like this. And they can help them. Who are in a similar, similar, similar situation. Or, yeah, situation to mine. That's what's important. You know, that's that's what's important. My lips are all pink, and my tongue is less pink. What the hell? Anyway, so, yeah, you know, like, why, you know, people are going to, I'm going to come across people like that. I'm going to get people who are just kind of rude and think they know things that they don't or just think that, you know, they're going to be the devil's advocate and say things that are, um, you know, gonna be kind of controversial in your eyes, or not gonna make sense, or whatever, you know, I don't care if I look like a dude, I do what I can to, I do what I'm comfortable with to, to pass as a woman, and to look feminine enough to pass as my sex, but if there's gonna be instances where it's not possible, always possible for me to pass, so fucking what, I can use the women's bathroom, I can use the women's locker room. I mean, it's the last time I was in the locker room, I was, like, naked. So, nobody cared. Nobody tried to, thought I was a dude or anything. So, it doesn't matter. Um, I mean, I mean, obviously, I don't look enough like a dude for somebody to say what this person said on my last video. You know. And this just really doesn't deserve any more conversation. But, um, you know, I just do what I can to feel comfortable until I can't anymore. And that's all that matters. You know, I move around the world. I'm good. People are nice to me. People like me. People feel comfortable with me. And I feel comfortable with them as who I am and presenting the way I am. So why do I give a fuck? I don't. Or I really shouldn't. And sometimes I will. I won't be perfect. But it'll be better than, you know, my last video. It's just I gotta really remind myself of where I'm coming from. Anyway, so... I um, had a plan for this video that was going to come off better than this one, but, you know, I got down to it now, and I guess that's all. That's all that really matters, so, yeah. I just, I don't really like the way I came off in my last video. I don't think it's helpful. It's not me. It's, it's, it's me losing sight of my roots, so. All right, thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful in some way, you know, any way I can. Have a good one.